Are you tired at this point of them playing in your face? Yeah. Being a friend of the world is being an enemy of the Most High, of Yeshua, of Jesus Christ, of the Ruhak, Hakadesh, the Holy Spirit, Divine Mother. So I say that in saying that although naturally you want to see representation of people that may look similar to you, people that you may want to acknowledge, okay? This is why they're using certain individuals, the NPCs, agents of the matrix in order to keep you further away from being spiritually sound being morally upright but the whole while they're playing in your face they're disrespecting you they're denigrating your image in all matters and the thing about it too is that it's so blatant the way of the world is such a wide path. And if you are feeling convicted within this, don't be afraid to walk the narrow path. Yes, you can do it. You do not have to go along just to get along. Just because other people identify with complete genocide, because it's, it's actually what's happening. It's a slow K-I-L-L. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't flagged, it's not gonna be flagged, but you know, the algorithm can be very sensitive about the truth. And that's what's happening. If you're watching things, if you are taking a part of music, and look, I'm, I'm saying this because I was one of those lost sheep. I mean, I have been extreme with it, but naturally, they know what they're doing. They sync up certain music with the right beats. They know how to get us, y'all. Because we are very rhythmic. Even those that don't really have much rhythm, you still feel the essence of that beat. And you're not thinking that, wow, I'm taking in stuff that is destroying me from the inside out. It's eating away your soul. It's eating away your humanity, your humility, your integrity. And oftentimes, we are in these situations of partaking in this media, this music, and I'm not going to name names because we already know who it is. Okay, we already know the key players that are in this matrix bringing about complete atrophy through negative programming, messages. This is psychological subversion. This is a way that they are eating away at the soul, the fabric of our lineage. And so it comes a point where Holy Spirit is sharing this with me because it's time. It's time to come out from amongst the world. And it's not going to always feel comfortable because you're so used to like many of us have been so pacified by perversion. We've been pacified by lust by gluttony, by overindulgence of all manners of sin. It is going to feel different. But if you're called to be ye set apart, don't think that you're going to be losing out. Yeah, you're going to, you may lose some things in the process because certain things got to be cleared in order for what's new, for what God is really destined for you to have to come in. But in the form of having self-accountability if you're seeing that the type of content the type of music the type of merchandise these people are putting out is completely <laughs> completely contrary to what it is that you know is right for society as a whole for humanity as a whole for our lineages just complaining about it but still partaking in it you're still engaged in self-annihilation. And to compare yourself to these individuals and think that, well, I may not be doing as bad as them. Sin is sin. We all may fall short, but if you allow yourself to wallow in that filth, you're only worsening it. And you don't want to get to a point where you feel like you're so indebted to sin 
that you have a stronger allegiance to the devil. You have a stronger allegiance to degeneracy than to getting up and living upright. Whether you want to believe it or not, the children are looking, they're watching, they're observing. And just like many of us may not have had respect for our elders because of the level of indoctrination, the level of programming that they succumb to, are we any better? In some aspects, we may be worse. So take it upon yourself. If you've been called to this message, it's for a reason. All right? Do what you know or what you believe to be is right. Take baby steps. You got to start somewhere. But continue to flood your mind, continue to flood your temple with degeneracy just because you want to see yourself represented, just because you want to see people that may look like you in a position, but they're in the most destructive positions. It's more harm being done than good. So toss it all away. <laughs> Don't even allow yourself from this day forward to entertain the nonsense because this is how, and there's a scripture about bad character pollutes good character. It says something to that effect. I'll include the scripture somewhere up here. But uh, yeah, it's time. Either you're going to allow yourself to be completely taken over by sin are you going to make a change? All right? Because it's a slippery slope. And sometimes you can slip into that level of sin. And, you know, we think we have this infinite amount of time. But you may slip so bad into sin that you become so burdened by that shame that you feel that you have to continue. And we all know how people that operate with demonic energies work. There's no loyalty. <laughs> with demons so yeah they're going to turn you on to all kind of mess degeneracy perversions and then they're going to turn against you as well so take this as a message a prophetic warning 